I'm going to show you how to copy um, the SharpSpring tracking code into your WordPress site. I'm on a WordPress dashboard right here. This happens to be my personal website. First thing you want to do is go to Appearance, and on the Appearance menu, select Editor. We're going to go into the Theme Footer. Now, I don't know what kind of themes you have on the, the website, but this is a, uh, a base theme. I'm choosing Theme Footer because the tracking code goes just before the closing body tag. I assume you know what we're talking about here when I say the closing body tag. That's the body tag. The tracking code goes right here. Do an update file, and uh, at that point, um, your, Word, your WordPress site will begin um, communicating with your SharpSpring instance. So when we have contacts from your instance of SharpSpring that visit one of those websites, we'll know it, we'll know who they are. Um, likewise, when anybody, contact or not, visits that website, we'll know it and we'll be able to track and report that information. Now, the downside of putting the tracking code here is that whenever your theme gets updated, this bit gets wiped out, which means you got to come back and redo it. There's some uh, slightly less manual ways to go about doing, uh, adding the tracking code. Uh, but this is the one that gives you the most control. So if you want to explore some of the other ways to do that, let me know and uh, we'll follow up on that.